that was just about the only shot that Robertson had on. He didn't have a feasible safety. Does the first red go past the second? It looks as if it does. Well, as we saw, it wasn't that easy, actually. I thought he gave it every chance of going in. Speedy played it. But frustrating because all those reds are there available, but the first one, as you say, had a, an element of difficulty about it. Just put it a little too much on the side cushion jaw. Oh, dear me. Well, one is a... Even if he's on the the black, it was a very poor shot. <coughs> well, that's one of the worst shots he's played all week. How on earth has he gone into the, the red like that? May have been intending to cannon his half ball to bring it away from the cushion slightly. But Painful. That was very bad. Near Robertson one. Well, a strange frame this has been. Two or three good chances either side. If one misses, the other one misses. Not a reflection of the match in general, which has been to a very high standard. Six. The right hand reds are cut back. The one to the left corner, not easy. Seven. Well, importantly, it pulled up before it got uh, over the top of the green, that cue ball, which means you can drop this in. Here, I think, put a bit of left hand Mark side Allen on it. The only good side is that uh, because he missed it thick, the cue ball didn't go anywhere. Very low total score 18 11 with only four reds left. Quite in behind the pink as he was attempting. Okay. Poor safety from Alan. Oh. 
Neil's not putting all the short ones tonight, well, but uh, the long ones continue to go in nicely. Now, has Robertson got sufficient angle on the pink to play a cannon on the top red? Well, he's done Neil Robertson seven. just about the same as what Mark Allen did. It was a slightly different shot, similar angle. And he's put it to the far jaw as well. Not quite a carbon copy, but it's a very similar type of shot. Thinking more about the, the colour that was to follow. Now, One. Doesn't matter what's gone before this frame. It's starting to seem a little bit more important now than ever because whoever loses it will be pretty disappointed because they've both had about four chances. Eight. I don't think there's been a ten break in this frame. Even at short Mark range, eight. those are missable. These jaws are unforgiving. I think they've been tight this week, these tables. Standards have sometimes been high despite the pocket size, but because of it. One. It's a crazy frame, this one, Clive, isn't it? It really is. Neil I mean, Robertson won. there are so many balls missed. And I think his intended next shot was always Stop going to be there. a snooker behind the black. Like that. Can you see who it is? Is that a word him, yeah? One or two noises in the crowd coming from somebody, which we can do without, I think. Anyway, the snooker has been got green is slightly in the way of the one cushion escape the natural one the cushion angle <laughs> i'm pretty sure he didn't play cushion first i'm certain Good pot to go eight in front. Pink makes 14. Should get on the yellow. Green awkwardly situated, which was why he tried to move it while retaining yellow ball position. Seven. Mark Allen, seven. I remember seeing Ronnie O'Sullivan win a deciding frame in an early round of the Masters with the highest break of eight. And this is a very similar frame. Oh. 
Well, he's unlucky there. You know, he's never going to be on the green sure. wherever it finished. I think I remember the frame. Might have been Nigel Bond who played in that match. I think it was. Highest break of eight. Very unusual. If you're going to win the frame, that is, not so much if you lose it. Neil Robertson, two. Alan, 12 in front. Needs two further colours. And it won't be at this visit. No, he'd like to just push maybe the green onto the black, but it might be a little thin for that. That's good. That's fine. I don't think he can hit enough of the green to hammer it round off three cushions to leave it safe. But he'll be happy with that. frame has been running 44 minutes. Nicely played, using the blue as a stopper for the cue ball. sure that he got the green well past the middle pocket three quarters of an hour for this frame and it's a crucial one nine five or eight six big difference It's the thinking time which is elongating this frame as much as any other factor. And there are some fascinating choices to make in this tactical duel.
a bit unlucky not to get in behind that brown down the rail. I think he would have fancied winning the frame there, but again, he's going to do it uh, in another visit to this one if he gets there at all. But what he could do is get in behind the black with the cue ball. And that is well played. So the advantage Robertson certainly gained three. by Robertson, despite the nine point deficit. But prefer to be in the position he is. And it was such a good long green. Lucky that the brown clipped the pink. Chance for Robertson to go 9 5 up. <sighs> Robertson thought he might Four. be. Struggling to get the cue ball down far enough for the blue, and in the end, he's overhit by a considerable margin. I'm being told it's the longest frame of the tournament 49 minutes. There were one or two that dragged out, but this has been a poor frame actually. A tense frame as well. Mayor Robertson, four. Well, that was an interesting plan. An attempt to pot the blue. That's what it seemed like anyway, unless he took the blue nearer the pocket than he intended. Well, this time, Mark's played a good shot. He played it really well. There's a tiny edge this blue sticking out and we've already seen him hit a couple of thin ones along that rail there is a, a sliver of the blue ball and I guess it works as a guide because if he does hit it he should hit it thin he can't hit it thick but he's missed it and you can see straight away he wow. wasn't that close to it a miss a miss will be called Mark Allen five free ball I don't know what use the free ball is if it was me, I'd probably have it back. But the replacing is very important here because there was not very much of it sticking out. And Mark's making sure that it gets put back right, and I think that's absolutely in order. I'm not saying that Paul won't because he's an absolutely fine referee, but okay. it's all agreed. Very good. Intended to move the blue as little as possible. The back heel, but didn't actually get behind it. Couldn't have been a worse result. I don't think there was room behind it. And the uh, object border had to be up a, a bit more than that. And uh, I think it's the worst possible outcome. It's Five. a gift in the end. Sure. Just pink and black then to go four up with five to play. Eleven. <laughs> A vital frame of 52 minutes duration. Robertson has won it on the black.
and he goes four up with five to play at 9-5.